Hi everybody, Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs at blogspot.com and today I'm going to be working with the Creative Critter uh, cartridge again and I did another 12 by 12 layout. I have a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, uh, craft cardstock and then I have this uh, pink and white polka dotted cardstock that is cut at 11 and 3 quarters and this is from the Colorbox, um, like a pastel set with pinks and I think yellows. Um, so we're working with that, and the cuts I'm doing today are from the lamb page. So I cut the lamb, the moon, the stars, the phrase, and the cloud. And I'll give you all those measurements as we go along. Let's see, I have the title of my page, which is the Sweet Dreams. And the Sweet Dreams is cut at one and a half inches, and the cloud is cut at three and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ATG gun to get that adhered, and I ran it through the Swiss, or no, the Divine Swirls Cuddlebug folder, and I'm just going to set that right there, press it down in a minute, and then I have um, the moon, which is cut at two and a half inches. I also use the Peachy Keen stamp set, uh, let's see. The Wide-Eyed Kids Face Assortment, and put that little face on there. So he and all of his accessories, or her, or whatever, are cut at two and a half inches. And I have them on some pop dots, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those, the backing on that. Here, and in the corner up here. like so. I also have two stars. The stars are cut at two inches and it cuts them together. Automatically two of them. So they have two stars cut at two inches and I ran these through the Swiss Dots Cuddlebug folder. Just placing those on there. And then I have my lamb. She's so cute. And again, I use the wide-eyed um, face assortment on this one as well. And I ran the white pieces through the Swiss Dots Cuddlebug folder. And my lamb is cut at four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to get the backing off of that. Also on the form squares. And I also used for her bows in her hair, or wool, I used um, two pearls, these right here, and I just took two of them off and put them in our little bows. Then I have two photo mats. These are four by four. The white pieces are three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I ran the white piece through the um, Swiss Dots Cuddlebug folder. I have a crib that I cut out of the Everyday Paper Dolls cartridge, and the crib is cut at three and three quarters. And then I just took a, a scrap piece of yellow cardstock and uh, adhered it for the mattress of the crib, and that's going to go there. So we're going to go ahead and adhere our photo mats down. I also wrapped some twine from the twinery on there, the pink sorbet. I'm going to go there. Oops. Sorry. And that photo mat is going to go there. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere our crib to our page. I still haven't gotten to the store or anything to get some new adhesive, so I'm just going to work with this. It's been really, we had some tornadoes in our area, um, about 30 miles from us, and my husband does fire and water restoration, 
which also includes tornadoes. And so we've been really busy lately. But I had most of this all cut up before all that happened, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of here done and be done with it. So that is my quick scrapbook page for you guys today using uh, the Create a Critter cartridge. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.